All right, so today I would like to um, talk about a cool feature that you can add on to your Google Slides presentation called Slido. It's an app that you can get um, embedded into your Google Slides. So I'm just going to show you how you can use it and incorporate that into a presentation. So up at the top, I'm logged into Google, and I'm just going to pull up my Google Slides app. So I've already created a small presentation for an example, but I mean, depending on what you would like to present, it will be different. But I'm just opening this animal cell organelles slide or presentation that I made um, for an example. And it has um, a picture of an animal cell. And then I have some questions that I would like my class to answer. And um, you can do this um, over if you're teaching through Zoom or through Google Meets because this is a way that students can interact online. So we're gonna go and press this add-on feature and get add-ons. So I've already added it on, but I'll show you how to do it. So it'll pull up the apps and then you can either just search up here, Slido, and it's already, it says it's already been installed, but what would you would do would press this and then you would press install on this page. Um, and it kind of just goes through like what things you can do. Um, there's quizzes that you can add on directly into your slides or you can have question and answer sessions. Anyway, so I would like to ask my class this question, this true or false questions. Animal cells have cell walls, true or false. So I'm gonna go and press Slido and open it up and it'll pop up over on this right hand side and send, for your first time, it'll ask you to create an account, but it's free and you can do it with your Google account or um, any other um, account that you would like to. And so I'm going to make this um, a quiz question. So up here they have create new interaction and there's lots of different options you can add to your presentation. So for this one, it's just going to be a small quiz and I'm just going to type in this question, um, animal cells have cell walls okay and then i'm going to add in the answers the possible answers true or false and then um, as an instructor or as the presenter i'm going to add this as the false answer and then i'm going to add this to my presentation and so it will create a separate slide here that what you do is when you present you can just um, present your slide and it'll automatically pop up the little um, quiz. And so what you can do is have your students either scan this QR code over here or they can simply um, join at this um, website on their phone. And so I'll do that quick to show for an example. Um, so I just open my phone and either with my camera or with my internet browser, I can scan the QR code and it will pull up automatically um, this quiz. And it'll ask me to insert my name or I could just um, insert any arbitrary name. And so I've joined and my name is Pineapple. So the instructor will then click the name and then the live quiz will start. So animal cells have cell walls, true or false. So I'm going to collect my, select my answer on my phone and send it in. And then um, the teacher will then click it again to end the quiz. And so then this will enter like how many students have answered this question or not. And then you can explain what was true or false. So that is one type of quiz or interaction that you can add on Slido. And let's do this one just because I think it's really cool. So this is another interaction you can add for one thing. So to create a word cloud, what is one thing that you've learned today? And so I want to create another Slido interaction for asking this question. And we're going to make this a word cloud. So I'm going to ask the same question here. What is one thing you've learned 
today. And then allow students to submit multiple hour answers. You can choose, I mean, I said one thing, but I mean, ultimately, if you want, they could add, answer multiple times, and then I'm gonna add it to the presentation. And it works basically the same. It's gonna create another little pop-up slide. And when I present it to my class, it'll pop up and I'll have the, another QR code. And um, because it's in the same session, you don't have to log back in. So as, if your students are already logged in to the last question, the true false one, they'll be able to stay connected into this one. So now I can just add in one thing that I've learned today. Let's see. Um, on my phone, I'm going to answer uh, animal cells do not have cell walls. And I'm going to send that in and it will automatically pop up here. And so all of your students' responses will start to pop up on your screen and you'll create an automatic word cloud within your presentation. So that's one free tool that you can use that you can add to your Google Slides presentation and to just add a little bit more interaction with your students. And anyway, thank you for participating 